Hey guys, it's Emma. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to tackle a simple machine learning interview question, and that is how to deal with missing values in the dataset. Missing values is a quite common data problem in some real-life datasets, and it negatively impacts the quality of the data. It might even bias the results of the machine learning model trained based on the dataset. That is why how to deal with missing values in the data is a common ask interview questions, and the interviewer often asks candidates this question to evaluate if they have experience dealing with this problem. In this short video, we are going to cover why there are missing values in the data and how to deal with them. In terms of why missing values happen in the dataset, it could be by design. For example, we allow users to leave blank in a form. Then there may be lots of missing values for a particular question. Or it could be due to a bug in the system. For example, we set an invalid value to a field. Or it can be delays in data pipelines. So how do we deal with missing values in the data? Do we simply throw the data away? Or fill in the missing data with some default values? Or do we try some fancy ways to replace the missing data? Well, it really depends. Before we try to do anything, we should see if there's any way we could fill the data back in. For example, there is some latency in the data pipeline, so we need to wait for the data to be landed. Other times, we need to ask or find out if the data could be filled by joining with other datasets. In all, obtaining the actual data is much better than having to guess or infer the missing values. What if it's not possible to fill the data? How do we deal with missing values then? There are generally two ways we can do, omission and imputation, depending on how much of the values are missing. Omission is simply removing missing values or throwing away some features with lots of missing values in the dataset. Imputation is to infer the missing values by leveraging our prior knowledge or the existing data. Why should we use omission? The first scenario is when the number of data points with missing feature is only a small percentage and the missing value is completely at random. We can simply throw away the data points. Missing completely at random means that the missing value is not strongly correlated with a certain group or feature. And by removing those data points, we will not change the distribution of any features. If any patterns are identified, then we need to be careful about removing them, because that could lead to interesting and meaningful business insights. For example, for fraud detection problems, it's possible that Frosters refuse to report some of the information, and usually we don't have lots of labeled data points of frosters. If any of those data points have missing features, we should look into why rather than simply removing them. The other scenario that we can remove the missing data is when the majority of values of a feature are missing values. The feature can simply be ignored or removed. Say, more than 70% of the values of a feature are missing. We could simply drop the feature. Because if we try to replace the missing values with a different value, most of the data points will have the same value. This won't provide much information for the model to learn. If there's only a small percentage of missing values and we don't want to throw away a particular feature, we can try to use imputation. The values we use to replace missing values depend on the type of the feature. If it's a numerical variable and we know its distribution, we can substitute the missing value with the mean or the median. If a feature is a categorical variable, we can fill a default category for it. Also, for numerical variables specifically, interpolation can be reasonable if it changes smoothly over time or across geographic regions. For example, if we have a missing observation of the temperature for a particular day, it may be reasonable to take an average between the prior day and the next day when we have observations of those days. Sometimes, we can consider training supervised models and predicting the missing value. We could train a model on the portion of the data without missing values and make predictions on the other portion of the data with missing values. Note that this step itself is a mini machine learning project. It's like creating another machine learning sub-problem out of the main machine learning problem, which will add complexity to the original project. So, we need to consider the trade-off here. Is a feature important enough that we need to predict it in order to fill in the missing values? To summarize, when faced with missing values in a dataset, we first want to see if it's possible to fill the data. If not, there are two ways we deal with missing values, omission and imputation. It depends on the patterns of the missing data, 
the type of the feature as well as the percentage of missing data for us to determine which method to use. Let me know if my explanation is clear enough and feel free to share other methods that can be helpful to deal with missing values in the dataset. I did not try to be exhaustive in listing out all the methods that can be used to deal with missing values, so feel free to share other methods you find helpful. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.